all right what's going on guys it is your boy tkd once here back here in playstation source and uh, i'll just say at the top of the video before we get into the whole thing about ps5 games and what i think will be shown at the ps5 reveal event once again black lives matter if you have an issue with that again you can see yourself out of this channel and of course there's a link down below in the description if you would like to donate to the movement and to the cause once again saying this one more time if you have an issue with that if you have an issue with me supporting hashtag black lives matter like i saw a lot of people commenting on yesterday's video about it that's completely fine you can say what you want to say i don't care so you can uh, leave the channel if you would like to do so but without further ado once again donate down below in the description to hashtag black lives matter and let's get on to the ps5 games talk so of course the notion of backwards compatibility in terms of ps5 has been a little bit of a wonky discussion in terms of they really you know have that weird quote about having you know most of the top 100 games played on ps4 available for ps5 and pretty much blanketly statement uh here that you know all the ps4 games will work with ps5 you know quote unquote like most of them the overwhelming majority of them i think i think that's what they've said as well but uh ps3 ps2 and ps1 are definitely in the realm of who knows probably not maybe i don't know but we do have a nice little tidbit here that we got here this week from sony where they finally set a cutoff date in terms of all right games that are being submitted for certification uh for a playstation console for the ps4 will have to work as well with ps5 and so that date here is going to be in mid-july let's read this little quote here they say here quote sony has reportedly told developers that any new ps4 game submitted for certification after the 13th of july 2020 must be able to run on playstation 5. this information comes courtesy of eurogamer who managed to get a peek at intro and developer documentation that outlines sony's instructions and so this is a great thing to hear you know what i'm saying so, so so like now we know that all right the big fall games right so we're talking about cyberpunk we're talking about valhalla even though we knew that valhalla was coming to ps5 but you know pretty much every game that is being submitted once again for certification not released after july 3rd because i mean you know they could have you know uh, uh put in their submission for certification in june and it will come out after july 13th but that will not be eligible it's only games that submit for certification after july 13th will also have its work with ps5 as well as ps4 so it's a great uh i mean i feel like this is pretty great news just to clear the air be like okay cool pretty much all the fall hits will be playable on ps5 and have a little cross generation type of thing going on love to see that and uh two games two big playstation games that definitely you know don't fall into that certification timeline they will still be coming to ps5 that is of course ghost of tsushima and the last of us part two they say here in the same article from eurogamer quote for example sony's own ghost of tsushima is released on july 17th but will have entered certification prior to the july 13th cutoff it will not specifically need to be a playstation 5 force compatible however as one of playstation 4's remaining flagship titles it is certain to be supported on playstation 5 and indeed eurogamer has separately heard that this will be the case alongside fellow upcoming exclusive the last of us 2 so you know it's 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 you've been reported here that yes uh you know of course ghost of tsushima and and last of us part two will be forth compatible with with ps5 even though they don't make that you know certain cutoff date and i would obviously expect that i think a lot of the you know big major playstation uh games that are exclusive to ps4 i assume will work with ps5 and have enhancements and stuff like that because of course it's their in-house games it's the you know playstation studios uh type of games going on here so of course those will be uh able to work with ps5 and i believe mainly the july 13th date that 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 you know they gave was for second party oh well, i was i guess it was less second party but, but mainly third party in terms of their games coming out this fall and ensuring that they will work with ps5 as well so it's all good on that front uh, good to see them just lay out that straight up and as we as we move on to the next uh topic you're talking about ps5 games that i think we will see on the playstation 5 reveal event uh, of course that was delayed due to black lives matter once again hashtag black lives matter link below in the description to donate if you have an issue with that leave unsub unfollow all the good stuff you know get out of here all right 
is plain and simple but moving on of course ps5 games what do i think is going to be the most likely to be seen on the ps5 reveal event we have a lot here that i am more confident on we have a lot here that I, i'm a little bit less confident on but let's go through it i'll walk us through step by step first up here silent hill right now i know the trailer that i'm showing is silent hills uh you know the old pt demo you know all that but uh nonetheless i do feel that silent hill there's too much smoke there's been too many reports there's been too many rumors for it to just be you know nothing you know i really do think that there is something more to it even uh as recent as today i saw one of the uh directors i believe or i, I believe it's an art director i'm not 100 sure if i can find it during the edit of this video i'll find it and i'll put it up here on the screen but it was some sort of of illusion where there was someone that was an art director i believe at uh you know uh working with silent hills and they retweeted the playstation 5 reveal event uh date and and stuff like that so maybe that might be that might, that might be more telling but we do have a random tweet here that i'll just throw out here that was uh on the push core article i believe it says here you know this is from at i said gamer one he says here quote i'll leave this out again bluntly silent hill if the japan studios toyama direct etc stuff is all true will either be revealed on the 4th or in august it should be the 4th as the team is excited to reveal it the game is ps5 exclusive and it is in a playable state so you know we have gotten a multitude of different rumors about that we've talked about it on on joy clicks games cast as well i just think that there is too much smoke here for there not to be anything and i think just the best way to show it off is at this ps5 reveal event bring back the whole push of silent hill you know why not do it big next up here quantum error now quantum error is that weird fps horror game where i believe you play as a firefighter i don't know it looks pretty interesting to me you know i'm like definitely not gonna write it off right now but i am gonna you know just look into it when they reveal more and uh, see how it goes down and they are planning to reveal more at the uh now delayed to june 13th future games show so that's happening next weekend uh it was supposed to be this weekend but of course hashtag black lives matter but uh they say here that they are going to bring a small preview of gameplay running in 4k 60 uh and that's what they were gonna you know be showing off at the future game show maybe they do this a little bit here and say hey we'll you know show a little bit more of the ps5 re reveal event who knows or maybe it just stays here which is fine as well but we will have to see but i do think that quantum error might make an appearance at the ps5 reveal event next up here this game having the luxury of being the first playstation 5 exclusive game announced well and i'm sure if it's i think it's going to ps4 as well i don't know no 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 it's not it's a ps5 exclusive yeah so the first ps5 game that was ever announced at the game awards was of course god fall it has been teased multiple times and including on monday they put out the silver main reveal trailer like this little like teaser trailer thing that they put out and they have been saying that they you know will reveal and talk more about the game really really soon and so you know just complete aside i know like a lot of people aren't really that hype about god fall and yeah like to me it does realm you know in the area of being sort of looked at as outriders in terms of like yeah they they both look interesting to a degree but i think what's really making them fall apart in terms of the overall buzz of the games is that they look kind of generic and they look kind of you know just just things that we've we've already seen before just a different coat of paint on it uh but you know they are you playing to put out this game and it's supposed to be a really cool concept of it being a melee based borderlands game essentially which sounds great to me because i love borderlands i love melee combat why not mesh those two so, I mean, hey, this one, you know, Godfall definitely has my interest peaked, but we will have to see, and hopefully it'll come to the PS5 reveal event. Next up here, the one that everyone talks about, the one that everyone is pretty much set in stone on, Horizon Zero Dawn 2, or whatever the sequel is called, right? And I just think that, you know, along with everyone that has been saying this game will be at the PS5 reveal event and everything, I have the same sentiments in terms of it just feels like they're ready to put out another Horizon Zero Dawn. It's been, you know, about three years, sorry, you know, over three years, you know, it came out in February 2017. So it definitely seems like it's time for them to put out 
that sequel and I think it would be a great way to show off the PS5's power in terms of having a vast open world running in the engine on the Decima engine on PS5 the hardware benefits that it can receive from that standpoint as well as having the development time to improve the game and it just improved the world so overall like i think like helming ps5 launch event with uh a you know reasonably new ip you know what i'm saying like it's not new anymore because it'll be the second one but i digress like it's still a a fresh name in the industry so having you know uh a new console with a pretty fresh name on the scene for day one ps5 to me just makes sense but who knows a lot of people are saying maybe it might be you know q1 of 2021 or you know launch window if you want like within the first six months of ps5's launch but who knows i think it's a pretty safe bet to bet on horizon zero dawn 2. next up here i was under the impression that we would actually get a knack 3 announcement with mark cerny's talk uh but we didn't right and who knows maybe this slot could be replaced with knack 3 you know what i'm saying mark cerny loves knack and uh i think uh knack 3 would be an interesting you know ps5 launch game but i think a more interesting one that could fill the same shoes as knack 3 is ratchet and clank they're both family friendly platformers and of course ratchet and clank has that long lineage and they and they had a great 2015 showing with with ratchet and clank uh that like tie-in game with the movie that was 40 bucks i think it was a great game overall so i think that they could come out with another ratchet and clank as the north carolina based studio uh for insomniac games is rumored to be working on ratchet and clank so that could be ready for launch who knows i think it would be a great launch style i think it could fill that you know uh spot that knack filled before ps4 but we will have to see when it all comes to fruition but i would like to see rice and clank i don't know guys let me know what you can in the comments below because i would personally love to see it and last up here in terms of the one that i think is pretty certain we will see is the blue point project so so they've been rumored to work on a ton of things the i guess number one uh rumor is demon souls remake i think that one is the most safest bet i think people have been throwing out legend of dragoon and there's a bunch of other games that they have been rumored to be making but the one that really shines the brightest is demon souls remake i think that will make sense as well i think it's you know time for them to also put out that game and uh it would also weld into the variety that they could have with the ps5 launch like you have the family friendly rats and the clank or like knack 3 type of title we have the godfall which is going to be you know the the like big open world type of you know borderlands-esque type of game we could have quantum air which will feed into like the horror i mean silent hills as well horror and we have of course the uh you know soul born type of genre that we have uh birthing out of this generation and a little bit of last generation as well uh in terms of demon souls remake hypothetically speaking so i think that one make makes a lot of sense as well but let me know what you think in the comments below uh would you would you rather see demon souls remake legend of dragoon or or what would you want to see from blue point let me know your thoughts down in the comments below now the last thing here we do have a few more games i want to give a quick i mention to but the one that has been making the rounds as of this recording is this bloodborne rumor so apparently what i've been hearing is that uh blue point games is working with another developer which i forgot the name of right now um i'll have it linked you know or, or somewhere over here whatever i don't know uh <laughs> that that apparently there's a bloodborne remaster that is coming to pc right it'll it'll support 4k i believe 60 frames but 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 definitely 4k it's being remastered on pc and it is also being brought in the form of a remastered version to playstation 5 called like bloodborne remastered and everything so if that goes down, I know a lot of people are going to go crazy. A lot of people love Bloodborne. They think it's a great game. For me personally, not my type of game I love. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just, you know, I... I just don't like those games you know i just don't like those don't like those type of games even though i love the vibe of bloodborne like like it seems like a very very cool ip i love the aesthetic i love the overall kind of direction that bloodborne goes that bloodborne goes into just a game that's not for me but let me know what, is, what you guys think as well with all this you know what i'm saying like we've had likes of wario 64 i believe schreier also put his little you know uh uh you know little like tease of like hey it's maybe real and we also had imran khan of kind of funny also kind of allude to it by him saying that he's quote not going to comment specifically on on bloodborne on pc rumors but suffice to say from software fans probably have a lot of reasons to be happy in the next two years and so who knows guys there's a little bit of smoke there could be a fire who knows honorable mentions here let's let's go over them pretty quickly here because there's not a lot to go off of one 
the Sony San Diego new team that, that has been long rumored to be working on Uncharted. I think that'd be an incredible thing to have at the PS5 reveal event, even though I don't think it'll be there. Who knows? Maybe it comes up as a surprise, but we'll have to see. Next up, the rumored SOCOM game from the Killzone team in Guerrilla Games. That's been long rumored to be working there as well. Uh, that like they are they are allegedly trying to revive SOCOM and have it be the key mark PlayStation exclusive shooter for the market, which I think is a great move. I I, I would love that. I hope that happens, but who knows? We'll have to see. And lastly here, Gran Turismo. So there was, of course, that, you know, fake Instagram mock-up logo of Gran Turismo 7 uh, that was put out on Next Level Racing, their Instagram. And it was, you know, again, outed that that was a fake mock-up logo. But there was also something else that I can't remember. But I, I, again, this is one of those where, obviously, a Gran Turismo is coming to PS5 at some point, right? And, like, who knows when that will be. But I think it'd be a great title to have uh day one or at least launch window to have that racing key mark game for ps5 let it show off all of what the ps5 is capable of in terms of performance and visuals and all the good stuff so who knows maybe it maybe it actually happens we will have to see but those are my thoughts on what i think ps5 games will be coming to ps5 in the form of either like the reveal event or release window of the ps5 let me know what you guys think about all these rumors here what you guys think about these games and most importantly what do you want to see on ps5 in terms of games down below in the comment section and make sure to go check out our description again hashtag black guys matter donate at the top of the description as well as our other links down below including our discord twitter anchor link to his new long-form content and podcast format that of course we wrote to part two and all of our other long form content uh shows that we may have uh cooking up a new one here pretty soon and uh like if you enjoyed it as well as stay subscribed to places and stores to keep up with the latest and greatest in play edition thank you for watching and as always greatness awaits